I got a little deep steel blue pill in my pocket for you. Little blue pills can take 30 minutes to get you ready for excitement. So that's why we're giving you a big deep steel blue pill. You take the blue pill. Believe whatever you want. Get it up for the Texans and take this deep steel blue pill. And by the way, she'll like it too. Texas Swarm. Swarm. So Nico Collins and Tank Dell were on with Bustin' with the Boys. I guess that interview was just posted yesterday because we're starting to see clips from that interview. But that was a from a moment in practice, I believe, this Saturday before this past Saturday. So about two weeks ago. And if you have had too much hype, courtesy of all those talking heads thrown your way about the Houston Texans. Well, now it is straight from the horse's mouth. Tank Dell taking the lead when asked where he believes the Texans wide receiver group ranks. What? Get everything. <laughs> where would you guys rank? Where would you guys rank your receiving core in the league right now? Oh. I'm you confident. I'm confident. So, I, me personally, I mean, we got to go out there and put out the put in the work and, and show everybody else, but you know, I feel like our confidence in the receiver room, I feel like we're going to say first. Yeah, we're going to say so, we top, top two yeah, and not two. So but I, I, What I other know. teams out there that you kind of have, you, do, you, uh, do you keep your eye on or you well. think would be in no that cares. list? Well? Man, no there's cares. some great receivers. Yeah, um, lot, you got, sure. I feel like you got um, Oh boy. Chicago, Chicago. Okay, yeah, we, we don't need to hear more of that. Whoever did the editing on that clip online, uh, terrible job by you. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm tired of hearing top two and not two. Yeah, it's a, just say you're number one. Like I've heard say it lot, with your chest. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people saying that about like women and 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 people that they're into and stuff. How about just say that they're number one? Yeah, just say you're Sydney the best. Sweeney. Is Sydney Sweeney, top two, not two. Yeah, just mm. just say number one. You're you're wasting everyone's time. Yeah, this is dramatic buildup. Why Here's receivers the, having the kind of confidence to say that they have the number one group? Not surprising at all. I don't think they're wrong. Um, the top three are, in some order, on paper, are Houston, Miami, Chicago. Those are the three best wide receiver rooms in the NFL, I would say. Mm, Philadelphia probably deserves to be in there, I was going to say, what, what, happens, what happens is that the top, it, it's the... The some some teams have better one two combinations. It's when you add in the third receiver, and then you're then you have to debate like, is the third receiver really that important if your top two receivers are Smith and Brown for Philadelphia, mm-hmm. or or Chase and uh, Higgins for Cincinnati? And then like, you have the third guy. It's a rookie with Chicago with a Dunze. I, I still want to see a Dunze yeah. do something before I can put them up there. No, I, I think that's fair. Moore, and, yeah, Moore yeah, and Allen yeah. is a really good one too. He looked great in Hard Knocks. Believe it or not, and like like the five seconds he was on the screen. <laughs> Rome, you got a cool name. That's oh. basically all they said. But yeah, t- because of Tank, he elevates the Texans into a different category. When you look at a room of wide receivers, when it's top two, if you say Diggs and Nico, the Texans are probably just they're maybe number five in terms of just like they, pure they might talent. even be lower than that. I mean, yeah, yeah. look, Collins had a great year last year. He was top 10 statistically, but I think there's a lot of people out there that are still a little bit skeptical. I don't think they should be. I think he's got a lot of unbelievable traits that were just unable to be highlighted with Davis Mills under center. But Dell, especially with what we've seen in training camp, I, I am wondering if Dell belongs in this top 2 before Diggs realm. Oh. I'm wondering about it. I, I liked what I saw from him last year. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, he got shot this past yeah, offseason I mean, and had a leg injury before that. The, Is he wide receiver two or wide receiver three, Paul? Stop. But he probably would be three. <laughs> to answer your question, three. If you're ranking, if you're ranking them in terms of, of skills, like I, I, that is, I think, a question to yeah. have about Dell. And then you, you know, as, as King of Twitch brings up, the, the the Rams had the Rookie of the Year in Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup. Yeah, I mean that is That's a terrifying a one, one too, which people overlook. They shouldn't because Matthew Stafford is still somehow looking like Matthew Stafford, and every single quarterback in the NFL is obsessed with Matthew Stafford. <laughs> Yeah, did you see Caleb Williams? Caleb Williams was the latest. Yeah, Stroud yeah. said that too. Like they go out of their ways to compliment Matthew Re- Stafford. Yeah, real but, ones know. Yeah, yeah but like the not ball say knowers. Patrick Mahomes is your is the best quarterback in the NFL. Caleb, like you idiot. Uh, <laughs> wait, what, what did Caleb say? He said Matt Stafford's the second best quarterback in the NFL, and Aaron Rodgers is number one. So, oh, coming off a of torn Achilles. Yep. Um, Didn't say C.J. Stroud. 
bulletin board material week two. Uh, no, King of Switch is right though. It's uh, I, I, for some reason I forgot about it. Like, Coop, I mean, Puka Nakua is a monster. Cooper Cup is is really talented too. The, the Texans top two guys are not on par with a lot of the other top two guys, but they have more depth than pretty much anyone in the league. I would imagine. Here's the other thing. You're as good as your quarterback is. All these wide receiver groups. Yeah. Yeah, like the wide receiver room in Kansas City is not great. If it doesn't matter, still works. Rasheed Rice, Rice, Xavier Worthy, Travis Kelsey. Rasheed, I mean, talk about like, headlines. Chiefs, Chiefs receiver room. Mm. <laughs> Most headlines that there is. Dude, they might be top three all time. Yeah. In terms of headlines between <laughs> Travis Kelsey and Rasheed Rice. Yeah, Rasheed Rice. Is he in trouble right now? I don't know. Probably. Yeah. No offense. Uh, yeah. Everyone makes mistakes. What happens if you do it over These and over happen. again? These things happen. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. It was such a great defense. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I do agree with you, Paul. Though that, like, I mean, we talk about Miami. Like, yes, we believe in the receivers. We do not believe in the quarterback. Yeah. So there is a kind of a give and take with the, with the yes, you can have this awesome receiver room, but. Do Maybe you, the Dolphins make it better because they're so good and Tua is so... Eh. Yeah, but the, I guess it's the difference between ranking the the receiver room and the passing game for these teams where I would believe more. Although, Mike McDaniel's a very good offensive coordinator. So, that that there's a lot of variables that go into this. Because even, even a team like Philly, who we like the 1-2 and the quarterback, but obviously last year... It was not hidden on all cylinders. You don't like the quarterback as much now. No. And, no channel view shout out. Uh, and the quarterback doesn't seem to like the head coach as much anymore either. Mm, so, yeah, we got to get to that next. Yeah, so there, there's a lot of factors going on. But ultimately, I do like where the Texans are. And if they're number one or number three, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, guys. It does not. Maybe the struggles are because of this. This is our deep steel blue pill for you. If you want to spin zone the Texans offensive struggles in training camp, while with Will Compton and Taylor Lewan of Bussin' with the Boys, Tank Dell and Nico Collins explained why the defense generally has such an advantage during training camp. So got a, you guys have a pet peeve with Coach Ryan? Coach Ryan? Coach Ryan's? Yeah. Biggest Nico, pet peeve that he do? Because obviously everybody loves yeah. him. He's always got all the best things said about him. Biggest pet peeve? Everybody love I, the biggest pet peeve with Coach D'Amico, and he gonna laugh. Is he always want the defense to win? To win, no matter what. That's the pet peeve. That like we'll do peeve, something, and, and he be like, ah, ah. defense win, it's a great day. It's a great day, you <laughs> feel me? Off the the practice wasn't too it's good. It's gotta be better. It could be clean as day. We yeah, won yeah. the rep. Nah, we lost. But that, that's what that's what you up. expect from a defensive yeah, coach, sure. a defensive player who played yeah. defense in the league. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but a pet peeve with the offensive side is. When the defense is successful, the offense is like, oh, you know what's on the script. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. But that's yeah, not they true. They script watch it. They script watch it. Yeah, do. That's true. No. That's yeah, true, bro. Yes. We that's do true. not script watch like bro, that, bro. Yes, that's true. Y'all you know, know the whole answer. Y'all know all the run plays. We had walk, yeah, you we had you do, walk bro. through the night before. On the plays we're gonna run tomorrow. the next day. So they know. You feel they like oh, okay. The same hey, hey, out there watching. That's a tip. Walk through the night before. That's oh, a that's real. And also when they So the defense has the script. For the offense at practice, and that's why the Texans defense has been doing so well. All right. So they, they, just, they know it's coming. Now, part, part of that script might be that uh, the iron that Blake Fisher is. Is that sharp? No, it's, it's rather malleable. Mm. You know, it's like iron that's been in a forge for a little bit of time, which is a softer version of iron. Yeah. So I don't know if Blake Fisher has been sharpened. By the iron he's gone up against, Daniel Hunter and Will Anderson. But um, for now, he's not looking so sharp. This, the script is... Looking oh, a little rusty. No Laramie Tunsil. Mm. <laughs> oh, no no Titus Howard. Mm. That's the script. Mm. That is the script. 